Salutations, sir. Uh, would you fancy a duel? Uh, I'm a little busy. I have uh, an appointment at a 7 to cuddle my dog, but for Yu-Gi-Oh, I'll always make time. Let's duel, bro. Great. Uh, well, basically, actually, I play Jang Zheng, which is the best deck. What deck do you play? Wh what deck do I play? The best deck, baby! That's what deck I play! Today's video, I've been hearing a lot of news that this Jang Zheng deck in, in OCG is doing amazing and is apparently the new best deck. But anyone with a brain would realize that there's only one best deck, and that's Pendulum. So in today's video, I'm going to showcase the entire world the best deck Pendulum versus some Jang Zheng. So if you guys think Pendulum is better than Jang Zheng, let me know in the comments, baby! And with that being said, it's time to get into this video. It is time to put the hammer down on the supposed best deck with the actual best deck. So if you guys are ready for this video, why don't you hit the smash the subscribe button? Because at 50,000, listen, I know what you get before I finish the sentence. In the past, I've said, oh, guys, at 40,000 subs, we're going to do sealed only. Yeah, you know what? Long story short, I actually did those things, and they just fucking were, were shit. They were shit. They were absolutely garbage. And they weren't worthy of a post on my beautiful channel. So I didn't even post it. But at 50,000 subscribers, I absolutely promise. In fact, I'm getting my, my tickets ready, boys. At 50,000 subscribers, I will go to OCG land everywhere that plays OCG on a, on a beautiful... OCG vlog and I'm going to show the OCG universe that if they think Jang Sheng is the best deck Just wait till I enter the OCG realm With Electromite and lastly before we get into this video I want to give a massive shout out to the sponsor of today's video Myself and my patreon and more importantly all of you guys that are gonna benefit from it If you guys want to go check out my patreon there is a 15% discount on yearly members for coaching who would like to be coached by the best deck? So you guys are ready for this video? Are you guys ready to get coached on Patreon? Go down in the description below, click the link of Patreon, sign up, yearly member, click the yearly member, 15% off, you get a lot of cool discounts too. Not that being said, it's time. It's time to show the world what the real best deck is. Let's go! Now I'm going to showcase exactly why Pendulum is just the real best deck, baby. Let's go. So you're going to see my hand here. I am playing a Pendulum deck that I've never showcased before. It's a beautiful 60 card Pen Shenanigans with every good Pendulum deck in existence in one deck combined. And it blitzkrieg through hand traps. Look at this. Pen called Darkroom Servant. I, I, there are no words. To explain the beauty of what I'm about to do. Uh, how many negates you guys think I'm going to put up? Um, anything less than seven, just leave my channel, baby. Because there's seven negates or bust! And you know what? It's not about the negates, even though it kind of is. But it's also about how many cool tattoos you have like this one. Oh my god, I could just uh, stick to the game plan. I want more tats. I want pendulum tats. Maybe I'm going to just get like Electrum like somewhere here. Anyways, uh, fast forward here to my duel. And I have about a solid, how many negates is this? Um, uh, let's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven! Seven negates! I should have put seven in my scale instead of gate zero, I don't know why. But anyways, this duel is, this this video isn't about how easy it is for the pen god to put up seven negates. Oh wait, I think, that, that, that isn't that six negates? I think I'm missing a negate. What, where's, where, where, oh. There it is. Hi, Dragoon. How you doing? How you doing, Dragoon? That's right. Drytron can play Dragoon, and no one bats an eye. But when Pendulum plays Dragoon, you guys go wild. You think it's Brick City. Well, listen. Listen. Let the Pen God tell you guys that Dragoon and Pendulums is fucking bananas. Because if my opponent Ash Blossom me on this turn, what was he going to Ash Blossom? My Pen Call? while savage dragon won't be on the field oh no i'm only gonna have five negates what would i ever do it's all good hand traps don't do shit and that's the beauty of verde anaconda and dragoon and pendulum now let's see what my friend the lyric i'm facing my my boy here lyric thank you base god well let's see if base god can save my friend lyric here he's playing tangy jang jang let's see how it does let's go also if i mispronounce jang jang i'm sorry i just don't know how to say it 
Jiang Jian. I'm not doing that box. I just don't know how to pronounce it. I'm not good with pronunciations. Jiang Jian. I'm going to go with Jiang Jian from now on. But if someone in the comments wants to say exactly how to pronounce it, tell me. Like, I pronounced ramen, ramen, for 27 years of my life. 26 years. Last year, I finally decided maybe it's about time I start calling ramen, ramen, and not ramen. Anyways. How do you pronounce this? Maybe you guys know in the chat. Jiang Jian. Maybe that's why, That's how. Anyways, let's, let's get going here. I do know how to pronounce one word, and that's negates, baby. And we got a bunch of those. So let's see how this deck can perform. He draws Ash Blossom here. I'm like, hmm, a little late, my friend. But you know what? If Lyric did draw it before, it didn't matter. Once he can Ash Blossom, like I said, only Savage wouldn't be here. Our other six negates would suffice. Uh, I'm going to let him do his play here. He didn't kind of brick. He didn't have too much. Well, I wouldn't say brick, but, you know, he had Ash Blossom a little late. But it didn't, wasn't really going to help him. Now he's going to go, and this is where you can learn a lot about Jiang Jian. Mo Yi, this is the, the one of the starters of the deck that gets a one-card Synchro. It's a good control deck, look at this. So you're going to get Synchro 8, he's going to draw one, he's going to get Interruption, he's going to search a card there, searches the, the pop one. You know what? He searched an Icarus attack, and I didn't even know he searched it. I wasn't paying attention to his board. I was just doing the biggest mistake that a Pendulum player can do. And that big mistake a Pendulum player can do is being too cocky. I was sitting like this with my feet up, relaxing. And I'm going to stop the video right here. I knew that he searched the Icarus attack, the pop one destroyed two, but I didn't play around it because I just didn't pay attention to his hand. This is the number one lesson all Yu-Gi-Oh players need to learn. Don't just let your, if you know you have no hand traps, don't just like diddle daddle around, not pay attention. You have to pay attention to your opponent's board and plays. Because if I paid attention, I would have known he has a card here that says, target one worm monster and two cards your opponent control destroy them. And I wouldn't have activated the Mystic Mind. This is just a huge misplay. And I try to search, he pops both. I lost Mystic Mind for nothing. That would have changed the whole landscape of this game. After he popped, I would have just uh, saved Mystic Mind for the end and destroy him. If I use Mystic Mind, he wouldn't be able to pop anything. My Zephyroth would resolve. There's just so many ways here. My Harmonizing would have resolved so much plays here that I could have saved. I would have won the duel if I just activate Mystic Mind right here. I just save the Mystic Mind, activate the Mystic Mind. What can he do? He's used Ash, he has an Imperm here. What can he, like, he can't use any of this. And then all I do is very simple. I, so I went Dark Worm. It's such a simple, if he doesn't do anything here, Normal Summon Harmonizing, Needle Fiber, Needle Fiber. I haven't used my Normal Summon yet, right? Yeah, I have not. I scaled the Abductee, I scaled it. I didn't use my Normal Summon yet. I just activate Mystic Mind. Normal Summon, Needle Fiber. Normal, I mean, Normal Summon, Harmonizing Magician. Go into Needle Fiber. Needle Fiber Effect. Okay, I didn't know he has Veiler. He'll use the Veiler, or the Imperm. Sorry, that's fine. That's totally fine. Pendulum Summon both of these. That's good. Fantastic. Link into Access Code Talker. Blow everything up. GG. That's it. But that Wasted Mystic Mind is going to cost me. He's going to bounce this. I go Zephyr Nui. If this was Game 2, Game 1 as well. I went into Dragoon when I didn't need to. Game 1, it's never good to show Dragoon because then they'll play around it. If he didn't know I played Dragoon and I just went for Masquerina instead of Ready Anaconda, he would imper my Zephyr Nui here so I don't search the Divine Strike. And then I just go Ready Anaconda, pop both attack for game. So this is my fault. This is my fault for being cocky both Game 1 and Game 2. And there's nothing I can do. I'm going to lose this duel here. But we almost OTK'd through 5 negates. We almost came back and OTK'd through 5 negates. Alright, it's all good. My turn now. This time he opens an Ash Blossom. Let's see how the Ash does here. Joker, look at my hand. This is what happens. The beauty of Pendulums is very simple, okay? Jeng Jian might be the best deck in OCG. But it's damn for show sure not the best deck in the world. Because that's Pendulum. And just to say, when we hit 50k subs, I will prove this in OCG land when I travel there. You guys gotta smash the subscribe button though. And also while you're there, maybe follow the Twitch down below. Because I'm probably streaming right now as we speak. Anyways. I gotta look, this is exactly my point. Remember I said Ash does nothing? I have six monsters in the field. They tell me exactly what is Ash Blossom stopping. It stopped my servant from coming up. Big whoop. I don't care. Guess what? Souls is gonna send a jackal anyways. Jackal is inevitable. Jackal is inevitable. That's right, just like Thanos. So let's go. Link summon to Selene. At this point, I want everyone to pay close attention to this point right here. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven counters. This is what misplays look like. I had to bring out a Harmonizing Magician. Harmonizing Magician and Celestial 
will then go into Celine. Joker, uh, I mean, sorry, Celestial and uh, Harmonizing go into Savage Dragon. Joker and Time uh, Star go into Verde Anaconda, Bring a Dragoon. I have Dragoon, Celestial, Divine Strike, Savage, and then Celine will special Jackal on his turn. But for some reason, I just went Savage Dragon with Joker and Celestial. I don't know what the hell I was thinking. They're literally not tuners. In my mind, this was Harmonizing Magician. Joker, by the way, for those who don't know, I wear glasses and I am blind. But I thought this whole duel was going on during my stream. I thought it would be a good idea to wear shades while dueling. Currently, I can't even see you guys. I am like fucking, who's the famous blind people? That's me. I can't see shit. And with these shades, I can't even see less. Harmonizing to me, it looks like just all I see is scales. I don't even see scales. I'm blind as a bat. I thought that was a harmonizing magician. This is why another huge tip for you guys, which you can find on my Patreon down below in the description below for even more tips. If you use glasses, wear glasses. This is a duel with serious cards. If you have to read an attack, you have to read an effect. Wear your glasses while you play. I'm a prime example. I literally thought Joker was harmonizing. So none of us caught that, but this mistake was very easily avoided. I just did the play I mentioned. Harmonizing, going to Celestial to make the Savage Dragon. Time Star and the Joker go into Verde Anaconda. And then you save the Selene to bring out a Jackal. It's the same end board except a Selene for free. My mistake here, very definitely, and a Divine Strike. So I would have literally just had a free Selene. But I decided to link off the Selene for nothing. So that's my fault. Because Selene will just summon out the Jackal on his turn. So I'll accept that L. It was my mistake. You should never do mistakes like that. You should pay close attention. I don't know how we both missed it. But anyways, there was nothing you can do. Even without the Savage, even without this Jackal, there's nothing that I could do to three negates. But I had like six or something. I can't really count. Anyways, that's the duel. Now it's time to showcase the combo tutorial. Let's go. We're going to showcase two combo tutorials. This is the first one. I'm just going to, I'm just going to watch. And not watch at the same time because I can't see shit. I'm going to do both. I'm just going to sit back and chill and witness the glory that is Servant, 60 card, Zephrath, Magician, Dark Worm, Turbo with Magicians and Pendulum Before and Power Sorcerer with Dragoon and draw cards. This deck is insane. So first we put up seven negates, right? Now we're going to put up just a measly six. Pardon my, my language for only putting up six negates. And there we go. Very easy. If they were to Ash Blossom anything, what, what would they Ash Blossom? What would I care if they Ash Blossom? Nothing they can do can hurt me. They could have Triple Valor. It wouldn't do jack shit. The only card that hurts is Jewel and Lockbird, but no one plays that card. And you know what? Because we play Dragoon, Droll doesn't even do much either. Because at least we're always ending on some form of Dragoon plus Mascarena. So, even through Droll, we're going to have, like, Dragoon Mascarena. And Mascarena will have Verde and Conda. So, like, Appaloosa Dragoon. It's easy game. GG. I'm going to show you guys another replay now on why this deck never bricks. Now it's time to showcase why my deck never bricks. And I say that while opening Time Gazer and Dark Magician. But it's all good. Because look at the rest of our hand. Allure of Darkness is going to get rid of the Time Gazer. Goods is going to get his Metal Plus Fusion and Upstart Goblin. Seven Providence is a one card combo. This is GG. We win the duel. Very simple, boys. Uh, here, we're gonna go goods into Metaphors Fusion so you don't draw it. And then. That's fine. Maybe we'll lure it into a Red Eyes Black Dragon. Fuck you, Joey. That's fine. That's totally fine. Because we'll banish one of the bricks. And by the way. We only play four bricks in this deck. Time Gazer and three pieces of Red Eyes Fusion. Four. Metal Pulse Fusion is not a brick because I'm not joking. You have 22 ways to send this card. That's why you play Metal Pulse Fusion and Goods. It's the same way. It's not really a brick in Sky Striker. They have Area Zero and uh, Multi Roll, except they only have like four or five ways to send the Metal Pulse Fusion. Why am I wearing shades? By the way, I don't know. But we'll just, we'll just roll with it because I like shades. Shades are cool. Pendulum is cool. You are cool for playing pendulums and watching pendulums. So you guys should probably wear shades as well. 
while you watch my video. Anyways, let me finish what I was saying. Sky Striker plays Metal Force Fusion, and they have like six ways to pop it, right? Okay. Well, Pendulums have 22 ways to send Metal Force Fusion to the graveyard. Pendulums have... <laughs> Pendulums have six pen calls, two pen performed by sorcerers, that's eight. It has three Magician Souls, that's nine. And wait a second, that's actually 11, I miscounted. And then, where's the other coming from? Let me tell you, Harmonizing Magician. Never mind, that's that's 14, it's not 22. Harmonizing Magician brings out Celestial Magician. The two of them XYZ into Time Star Magician. Which searches from your deck, Magician Souls. Use Special Magician Souls. Send the Metal Pulse Fusion. Free Fodder for Dragoon. Got him. 14 ways to send Metal Pulse Fusion to the graveyard. So that doesn't count as a brick. We only have two. Dark Magician, Red Eyes. Red Eyes Fusion, Time Gazer, so that's four. That's fine. This is still a good combo. We're gonna draw a good card off Metal Force Fusion, maybe like an Abductor or something. Then we're gonna have Pen Call, discard one of these cards away. I don't care, I don't need them. We'll send Dark Magician to Special with Selene just to flex on our opponent and attack for game with it. It's all good. This deck is, this board is still, four, this hand is still four negates. ARE YOU FUCKING KIDDING ME?! ARE YOU KIDDING ME?! Sorry, Chair. You did nothing wrong. You did nothing wrong whatsoever. You got slapped. You didn't even know you got slapped. I am playing a 60 card deck. What is the hypergeometric calculator ing of 60 card deck? And drawing Red Eyes Fusion, Dark Magician, Red Eyes, and Time Gazer. What's the hyper fucking geometric calculator of that in a 60 card deck with only four bricks? Four of four in a 60. Are you fucking kidding me? What the fuck? And no, I did not. Like, make this hand up. I didn't stack shit. I had this hand live on Twitch. What the fuck? That's like a 0.000001% chance. And then you take a two-thirds of that and 0.000000001% chance happening. Four of four of five cards in a 60 card deck. That is fucking... Guess what, though? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? Guess what? I want everyone right now to just look at my right arm and do me a favor with my beautiful camera. You could probably see it very clearly. I'm not even going to say it. I'm not even going to say what it says, okay? I'm not even going to say what it says. What's it say? What's it say? Guys, I, I'm not even going to say what it says because I know my camera is crisp as hell. You guys could probably read it. All right, what's it say? It says stick to the game plan. Stick to the game plan, as I always say. This, this statement I'm about to say has withstood the test of time. When life gives you lemons, you make four negates. So here, even with drawing, Dark Magician, fuck off Yugi, Red Eyes, Joey, learn how to speak properly, Red Eyes Fusion, and Time Gazer Magician. We're still going to put up four negates. If you don't believe me just watch and learn and this doesn't turn you into a pendulum believer i'm not even phased i know it maybe hurt my chair a little bit and my chair has done nothing wrong but i must still put up four negates despite the fact of drawing the worst hand in the history of Yu-Gi-Oh history but guess what it's not really that bad because pendulum is just the best deck and it doesn't matter so what am i gonna do i'm gonna play Yu-Gi-Oh. Pendulums right now are something Pendulum has never had in history. It's a deck of one card combos now. Two card combos. Draw one of each one card combo and you kill them. So, this is my board at the moment, right? It looks pretty shit. Well, guess what? What did I tell you? I know maybe it sucks that we didn't play Verde, but this will be a Verde Anaconda and Celine Verde Anaconda, etc. This will be Jackal. So, Celine's bring a Jackal. 
I didn't use my normal summon yet. I just normal summon here. I would make red anaconda. Wait a second. We drew all three pieces of red anaconda, so that's not going to work out for us. That's all right. We make Appaloosa. Set our divine strike. Someone tell me how many negates this is. One, two, three, four. Four negates while drawing. The only four bricks in our deck. When life gives you lemons, you make four negates. It's all good. Life is good. Life is good. This is the best deck. If you could put up four negates, listen, let me tell you something, okay? How many negates does Tri Brigade put up? Uh, can someone please tell me how many gates the Tri Brigade put up? Uh, I could tell you. I could tell you. They put up one. My bad. <laughs> they put up an Appaloosa as well. They put up an Appaloosa and a Revolt. Oh my god, that's so scary. Maybe we'll draw Veiler. Oh, but it's so scary. Okay, well, guess what? We're putting up a better fucking board. Whilst drawing the only four cards in our deck that are unplayable in a 60 card deck which in a 40 card deck is the equivalent of drawing the three unplayable cards in your deck can tri brigade do anything when they open two nerval and two kit aside from blues to valer yeah yeah actually that's not even a good way to say it drawing two kit two nerval is the equivalent of drawing four pendulum cards that's like drawing, bro. The, every card in that deck is bad. What I'm trying to say is pen motherfucking best deck. And we put up four negates with four bricks. On to the deck profile, baby! This is the deck profile in all of its greatness. Look, j just look at it. Just look at it. Maybe you play two bricks in Dark Magician and Red Eyes, but I think I just made it abundantly clear that it doesn't fucking matter. And you know what? Your opponent is not going to open every hand trap in Yu-Gi-Oh!, the same hand where you open a 0.0000001% probability of opening four fucking pieces. Even if you open one Dark Magician and four of any fucking combination of cards in this deck, your opponent is going to need three hand traps to stop you. And even then, you're just going to have monsters laying around that do nothing. Link them into Verde Anaconda. That's the beauty of Pendulums. And that's the beauty of the best deck. Every card in here is a one card starter. Look at them. Just draw one of each of them. One one card starter low skill, one one card starter high skill, you win the duel. GG, see ya, have a good one. That's it. It's just that good. No RNG involved because you're only playing seven draw cards. It's not like Endymion where you play like 15 draw cards in like a 40 card deck. You're playing seven draw cards that doesn't actually affect. That's my Uber Eats, by the way. Yeah, I ordered some Subway. Eat fresh, baby. And put up a lot of negates, like pendulums. As you see, this is the list. You can uncopy it, play it at your own will. And let me know the next time you lose. Because the only time you're going to lose is to anti-spell and potentially draw if you open too many spells. But guess what? Activate Red Anaconda effect against draw. This deck's even better against draw. What can I say? I've done it again. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. We'll see you guys in the next video. Peace! Guys, thank you for watching the video. This was a blast to make. I faced off against my boy Lyric over here who's been a long time watcher. So shout out to him as well. And as you can see here, Pendulum is just the best deck. I've showcased combo tutorials replays everything and we did this while drawing three pieces of our last fusion in a cc card deck this is just the best deck i just gotta say so you guys got this far why don't you get to smash the subscribe button because the 50,000 subscribers will be doing an amazing ocg vlog special where i travel to japan and win with electromite so smash the subscribe button for that also if you guys want to check out daily pendulum content check out my twitch down below and lastly last shameless plug of the day if you guys want to get better at Yu-Gi-Oh! and get coached by none other than the Pan God himself, then you guys gotta stick to the game plan and sign up on the Patreon down below. Sign up for the yearly member membership and yearly members get incredible discounts and first. Hope you guys enjoy the video. See you guys in the next video. Peace! <laughs>